Aloha, this is Will from Will's Practical Yoga. It's great to be with you. I'm gonna give you a yoga mini. This is a quick yoga in a minute for people on the go, a quick overview to hand mudras. So all of us have, uh, many of us, have seen these mudras in images of ancient deities as they're dancing and doing whatever, but did you know that at the uh, tip of every finger is like an acupressure point? And that acupressure point, according to yogic technology, activates a part of the brain. And so if we're trying to work on ourselves, uh, and if we are trying to awaken certain aspects of our personality, like our ability to communicate, our ability to be healthy and radiant, our ability to be patient uh, as we move through life, or our ability to take in wisdom from all that we're learning, we can use these in our yogic practice at any time. So when I'm in a flow class, I'm just adding these when I'm thinking today, I'm so impatient, and I'll use this middle finger mudra and just see if I can, you know, calm down and be steady. So the first finger is wisdom and intuition. So this is the okay sign. This is the most popular and uh, probably familiar uh, hand mudra of, of all the mudras. It's the okay sign and it's what you see for people who are meditating, right? So they're trying to activate uh, their own sense of wisdom and intuition. The second finger is the middle finger. And I always say the middle finger is about patience, being steady and calm in your life so you can manifest the life of your dreams without giving up. Uh, I always say that if you don't do this one and you're impatient, you end up flipping people off rather than using the finger for good. So let's use the finger for good. The third one is the ring finger. Uh, this is for health and radiance. So if you've got any health and uh, health issues, health and radiance issues, if you're feeling down and feeling a little uh, clouded, this is a good one to activate through your Hatha flow. And the third and final is communication. So it is said that with wisdom and, in, and communication, anything is possible. So we do prosperity meditations to activate these meridians. So those are the meridians. And the final one is the ego, the thumb. Uh, the thumb is important, as is the ego. We need our ego to get us through our lives, to understand structure. Uh, but if the ego is overpowered, we tend to smother the heart and we are uh, in another realm entirely, which is not particularly healthy. So we try to keep the ego balanced in a healthy way. So those are the five uh, hand mudras, and I want to give you a high five. Uh, see if you can fold those into your class uh, next time you're doing a Hatha class. Aloha and namaste.